Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a little bit of a haul for you. Um, a couple things from Rose Girls, Nana Makes Sense, and then I've got my um, Broadway Wax Beetlejuice box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with Rose Girls. Let me just move these things out of the way. So this was her ready to ship from a couple of days ago. Maybe it was a week ago. I can't really keep track of time. But um, I just got a few bags of her mini melters. I've accumulated a lot of Rose Girls in a short amount of time, but they were all from D stashes on the Facebook group. So this was actually my first time purchasing her mini melters straight from her website. So I'm pretty excited to get into it. Um, I may have quick sniffed some of these things but most of it i've not gotten around to sniffing so i'm really excited so let's go ahead and get started this was the sample that came with the rose girls order and it's in pumpkin apple and cake batter i guess it's pumpkin apple cake batter and please excuse these scratches one of my cats who must not be named um was not enjoying being groomed and <laughs> That happened as a result. Mmm, this is really good. This smells like like an apple spice, a spicy apple cider that is very sweet. It's like this gorgeous little pumpkin and it's a pretty hefty size of a sample so I'm really excited about that. Next up, so the first mini melter bag I got is Cider Lane and Carbs, and I believe her carbs is like pretzel, cookie, bread, uh, just a bunch of sweet, carby stuff. And I love Cider Lane. Oh my god, this is, this is incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, this smells really, really, really good. I smell like a... Oh, hi Mochi. Um, I smell like a, um, like a red hot cinnamon spice with this sweet carby, carby, like sweet bakery um, smell that's mixed with it. So it's really nice, like it's spicy and sweet at the same time. I really, really, really love scents like that for the fall and the winter, actually. Next up, I got Ghoul Friends, which I got a little sample of in her um, Halloween sampler, and I really enjoyed it, so I knew that I wanted to pick this up. Look at these colors, you guys. It's so pretty. I know that her Ghoul Friends and Carbs is super popular, but she was not offering it during this time around. So I just got the Ghoul Friends, um, and I figured I, if I wanted to kind of get a Ghoul Friends and Carbs vibe, then I could just mix it with any bakery scent that I have. But honestly, I really like it on its own. It's, it's a really interesting scent. It's like... Um, it's supposed to be, I think, a pumpkin pie um, scent. And I get that. Like, I smell cinnamon, nutmeg, and yeah, it smells like pumpkin spice to me. I can't remember off the top of my head if that's exactly what Ghoul Friends was, but that's what I'm getting right now. And I also got Cracklin Birch fluff puffs which is a very very popular scent of hers so um i wanted to pick that up and these colors are gorgeous um it's so 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 fall yeah this is really interesting so it smells it's a very it's a sweet smoky scent which i love and it's like a little bit of a burnt like a wood burning scent it's really really cozy I love it I might mix it with maybe a little bit more sweetness but first I'm going to try it on its own and see how it is then I got Alex in slumberland I love these pastel colors so this is sweet lavender honeydew and cotton candy frosting I love honeydew scents, and oh my goodness, this is so yummy. 
it's it's very sweet if you don't like sickly sweet scents you probably wouldn't like this but this is like this is sweet you get that honeydew which is slightly refreshing and then you get like a herbally lavender in there as well but it's very sweet and then cake by the ocean which I can't remember exactly, but I think it's like key lime pie and like fresh picked strawberries or strawberry shortcake, um, something like that. And this smells really good. Um, I smell like a melon in here too, I think, but I definitely get the key lime pie. Sorry, my cat is like going inside my bags right now. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys. Um, yeah, this, this smells really, really good. This is also very sweet smelling. Um, so if you don't like really sweet scents, you may not like this one either, but I really love it. It's like a fruity sweet scent. So that's all I got from Rose. Oh wait, no, sorry. I also got her Speechless Sampler, um, which is kind of a lot. I don't know if I want to go through, I'll just go through it quickly. Um, these were all, I did already go through these. This was like the one thing I was very excited for. Well, I mean, I was excited for everything, but I had the chance to kind of go through all of these. Um, so this is a fresh sampler. Um, Speechless is like Satsuma and Rain and just, it's like a fresh scent lovers, um, dream probably so this first one is santa is speechless i don't know what santa is but it's really good it smells um it smells really fresh i think you know what i'm not gonna go through all of these because i feel like that's what i'm gonna say for all of them honestly a lot of them smelled very similar to me like i get the speechless mostly in everything i think the only one like this is Speechless and Macintosh Madness, so I do get like a the apple in here, which I really like this one because it cuts through the Speechless a little bit. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the rest of them honestly smelled pretty similar to me. Maybe they'll smell different on warm. Um, so I won't go through all of these. I will review them as I use them. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even in frame. I will go through them as I, I will review them as I go through them on my Instagram or in like my empties baskets, but if you like fresh scents, you will really like Speechless. It's really good. And um, I think I will save a lot of those for the bathroom because it smells very aquatic to me in many ways, so I think it'll be nice there. Okay. So that's done, and then I wanted to go through my Broadway Wax Beetlejuice box. Um, I did just take a peek at this because I was very excited. I just have to give Broadway Wax a huge shout out. Um, I have had, I only got one of their boxes before this one, and it's incredible. Um, the throw, like on cold, they all smell amazing, no denying that, but on warm, her, the throw for her wax is out of this world. Like, it's so good, and it really impressed me. Um, this past week, I went through like three of her scents because I was so happy with the performance, um, and I think Broadway Wax has easily, um, made it to like the top in terms of my favorite vendors um so you know on cold i really liked the past box that i got it was the shrek themed box but then when i started warming them this week i was like oh my god i need to like always pick up her boxes because this is so good and then i ended up picking this one up and it's amazing so for 40 dollars shipped you get all this wax with like some extras um and i think it's totally worth it especially given the throw of her wax and i will talk more about that in my empties video when i kind of go through some of her uh some of the scents that i've got 
Sorry about that, I ran out of space on my memory card, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you get here is this little um, creepy gummy, which is super cute, but also kind of gross. So I'm excited to see how that'll be. Um, so this first one here is like a thick brickle, or brickle? Brittle. <laughs> it's a thick, brittle with some worms on it so um this is in honey buttered rolls black raspberry vanilla and blackberry jam butter cookie and this smells really really good i get the honey buttered rolls first with the blackberry jam cookie so this actually smells kind of similar to L3's Benny and June, if you guys have had that one. But this one I actually like more because you can really smell the honey buttered rolls more. I wasn't able to smell it as much in my um, uh, Benny and June from L3. So I actually ended up de-stashing that recently, but I am really happy about this one. So I'm definitely gonna warm that. Then we've got this uh, scent shot cup in banana boat song which is banana bread cinnamon buns pistachio pudding cake and nana's kitchen and that's what that looks like it's so cute and this is like not your typical scent shot cup it's like a giant it's a big one um wow and this smells really good so i get banana bread and cinnamon first I don't know if I'm getting much pistachio pudding cake and I'm not sure what Nana's kitchen is. But I'm really excited to see how this does on warm. She had a banana one in her Shrek, Shrek one and that thing was so strong. I actually had to turn off my warmers because it was just, it was making me a little bit queasy. So I think this one will be better though because the spice from the cinnamon kind of cuts through the sweetness of the banana. Then we've got these like neon pink um, potion bottles. And this says, this one is same my name, honeydew melon, kiwi raspberry, sugared strawberries, lemonade, and hello sugar. This sounds like it'll be a really good summer scent. Oh wow, oh my gosh, yeah. This is, this, this smells like it has fizzy pop in it. Yeah, this smells like a fizzy fruity soda. It's like a fizzy lemonade soda. Yeah, this is really good. I will save this for the summertime. I, I don't want to use this during this time of year. But again, I really love it. Then we've got these guys here. Um, this is Fright of Their Lives, Pink Frosted Cake, and Angel Cake and Cookies for Santa. Mmm, this is so yummy. Oh my gosh, look at that. That glitter. Yeah, this just smells like a really yummy pink, I mean not pink, <laughs> sweet bakery. Um, that would be wonderful on its own or great to mix with something else. Then we've got this hunk of a chunk. Um, and this is Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice with blueberry cheesecake, zucchini bread, and berry cobbler. Yummy. So that smells like a typical kind of blueberry um, bakery scent. And those are kind of like your typical Beetlejuice colors. Yeah, this smells really good. I love blueberry bakery, so I'm excited about that. And then we've got this little mason jar um, in Barbara 2.0, sparkling mojito, blackberry sage, spearmint, and sugar. Oops, that's very interesting. Whoa, this is super interesting. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um can't even describe it. It smells like a mojito. It smells like a mint mojito and maybe like a little bit cologne, which might be the blackberry sage. But yeah, that's really like a 
nice clean fruity scent. I love this and it's super unique. I definitely don't have anything like that. Then we've got this wheel wedge thing, the whole being dead thing, caramel apple, green apple jolly rancher, buttercream frosting, and caramel popcorn. I don't know how I'll feel about the green apple jolly rancher. Oh gosh, I take it back. This is so good. That does not smell like green apple jolly rancher to me. That smells like a fresh green apple. Yeah, I don't get green apple jolly rancher at all. This smells like a fresh green apple to me unless I'm eating some really different green apples from everyone else. Oops, I just popped that apple off. This is really good. This smells like a carnival scent, like a caramel apple sweet scent. This is this is really good. I love that. Um, then we've got these bars here. Ready, set, not yet. Chai tea, sweet cream, and butter cookie. Oh, that's that is delicious. Okay, this is good. This smells like a subtle, um, a subtle spicy scent. With a hint of sweetness. It's definitely on the lighter side, but I like that. If you are not a huge fan of spice, I think this would be a wonderful scent to try because the spice is not very strong. It's like a subtle spice because I think it's mixed with that sweet cream scent and those and the butter cookie. It's really good. But yeah, that was it for that box. And oh my gosh, there's not a single scent in there that I don't like. It's so good, you guys. I really recommend that box if you've been meaning to try them out this is your sign to do it so moving right along um i placed an order with nana makes sense let me get her business card here she was having like a 40 percent off sale and so i really just wanted to try her out um yeah so i went ahead and placed in order with a couple of customs and a couple of her own blends. So let's just go ahead and get through some of these samplers. Um, she said quite a few actually. And this was beautifully wrapped, but I unwrapped it last night and I did go through all of these scents already actually. Um, but we'll go through it again and see how it is. So this first sample here is espresso, zucchini bread, and toasted marshmallow. And I really like her little logo. It's like a vintage looking um, painting. Um, so I smell the espresso. I think it smells like a smoky. It's a little bit light. I smell espresso and the toasted mallow. I don't really smell the zucchini bread, um, but maybe it'll come out more warm. This one is cranberry zucchini bread and pumpkin pie. Ooh, this is really yummy. This is good. Um, it's like a tart cranberry zucchini bread scent. I don't know that I smell like the spices from a pumpkin pie really in that one. This one is Nana's Bakery, which is Bear Claws, fresh baked bread and sugar cookie. I don't really smell much of anything. I think maybe I'm getting some of the Bear Claws. This is sugared apple and zucchini bread. This is good. I smell um, the sugared apple. I don't really get the zucchini bread. Cornbread and blueberry. I love cornbread scents, by the way. Yeah, this smells like a blueberry um, bakery scent. And then this is strawberry pound cake and sugar cookie dough. I'd actually ordered a scent of this, but she had run out of stock, so I got a refund. 
about that. She wrote that on the back of her, sorry, I forgot to mention, she writes these really sweet little things on the back of her card. Yeah, this, this smells really good. It smells like strawberry pancake and sugar cookie dough. This is really yummy. Um, I wish I had a full size of that. Um, so I'm going to start with my non-customs and then do the three customs that I got. So the first thing I got here is sweet potato treats. And this is a mad little pumpkin in sweet potato pie pretzel chestnut and brown sugar sorry that's my cat hair mm, what an interesting scent I really like it so it smells like I don't know so okay this is a trend I've been noticing with her wax even when I smelled it last night I wasn't sure if I was just tired from work or something, but when I smell the actual wax, I honestly don't smell anything. It just smells like wax. But when I smell the bag, I get the scent. Um, I'm not sure what that means. I feel like it might mean that maybe it just on warm the scent will come out or have you guys had any experience like that with this vendor or any other vendors and if so how did that wax end up throwing for you because this was poured on July 29th so it should have cured I just I don't smell anything on the wax itself but the bag smells really good it smells like sweet potatoes, and I get that chestnut and brown sugar scent. I don't know if I'm getting much pretzel, though. But yeah, I would be really curious to know if you guys have ever had that experience with any wax, and if so, how that turned out for you. Next up, I've got pistachio surprise, and this is pistachio macaroon, zucchini bread, and birthday cake. And it's this really cute and green um little wax with some frosting topping and sprinkles okay so i do actually smell it on the wax on this one so i get like a really light pistachio birthday cake scent but it's like very faint so i don't know i just hope that it smells stronger on warm because i I can barely kind of smell this as it is. Then I've got mango and peach salsa, which is a Yankee Candle dupe that I had when I was super young. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to have that because I loved that candle. Oh yeah, this is really good. And this is really strong, actually. This is a, and it smells exactly like that candle. It takes me back to my high school days. I love it. It's a juicy peach is what I get first with the mango scent. That's really yummy. And then I've got this here, which is pumpkin eggnog. It's this little tart shape. I get a nutmeg cinnamon spice scent i don't know if i'm getting much like creamy eggnog or anything like that it's good i like it next up is this giant pie here and this is sunday fun day strawberry white cake and cotton candy marshmallow what that looks like it's really pretty and it's a thick pie so I get the strawberry white cake and some cotton candy but again this scent is very light and the strawberry white cake it's like that 
um, that strawberry jam, strawberry seed scent. Um, and I do really enjoy that. This one is the Amish Baker, Amish Harvest, Bear Claws, and Pie Crust. It's the same pie with these gorgeous autumn leaves on it. Oh yeah, so this, this smells pretty strong too. This is, I smell the bear claws. I'm not sure what Amish harvest is though, to be honest. But this smells exactly like the bear claws scent oil. It's good. Um, and I think that's actually it for my non-custom. So let's go ahead and do the custom. So I got two of these half pound bakery bags and then I got the one one pound loaf. Um, so let's, I'll start with the loaf actually. So this is the loaf that I got in this little food container. I, I'm going to put it in like a plastic ziplock just so that the scent doesn't escape it. But she also includes this bigger bakery bag so that once I chop it up, I can put it in there, which I thought was very, very thoughtful of her to do and very kind. Um, so this is in espresso, sugar corn pudding, and pleasingly pumpkin. Um, I don't remember if this was my own scent creation or if I saw a video or something, so I do apologize if I'm not giving you credit and you came up with this scent. And honestly, it doesn't smell like any of these things to me. Maybe like sugar corn pudding with like a hint of espresso. Maybe let's take this out. I smell a spice blend in here. Like I smell cinnamon, which I'm not sure which one of these has that smell. Or maybe it's like the combination. I, I like this scent a lot. Hey guys, so it's actually several weeks later from the previous clip. But basically my battery had died and then it got too late and there was not enough light. So I couldn't film it. And so I think what I was talking about was the customs that I got from Nana Makes Sense. So I didn't melt any of them yet in the past couple of weeks, but I did end up chopping up um, one, the loaf that I was showing you guys. Um, so these have had a few weeks to cure, and so I figured I'd just finish up the filming the clips of this video and then see if maybe the scents have gotten a little bit stronger as well. So this one's an espresso, sugar corn pudding, and pleasingly pumpkin. And like I said, she had included this bakery bag with the loaf. And I just wanted to put it in here because I didn't feel like the loaf was um, secure in terms of preserving the scent. And wow, um, I have to say that as soon as I opened the bag, I could smell it. It's like really strong now. Um, this one wasn't super weak initially either, so I'm not too surprised, but yeah, I think it definitely needed some cure time, so yeah, I really like it. It's like a spicy, um, I don't know if I get much sugar corn pudding, but I get, or like pumpkin, but I get like a spicy pumpkin pie scent maybe is what I'm getting. I don't really get much espresso, um, but we'll see how it does on the one. And then the other two that I got, let's start with this one. So this is Amish Friendship Bread, Palo Santo, and Golden Sponge Cake. I love Palo Santo mixed with some sweet uh, scents. So, it smells super strong in the bag. Um, and 
get these like adorable little shapes with glitter on them. Yeah, and again, like, I definitely smell it stronger when I whiff the bag compared to each individual wax melt itself. But I do smell, smell it on the wax. I get the Palo Santo first and like a sweet um, after scent, which is really nice. And I'm excited to see how that does on warm. And then the last one, which I'm most excited about, is the Jamaican Vanilla Cafe and Raspberry Singer. So it's going for like a raspberry coffee scent, which I love. And that's exactly what I get, is I get the raspberry first with the base um, coffee note. And that's what that looks like. Super cute. And again, it's a little bit light when I smell the actual wax itself compared to the bag. But I'm hoping that on warm, that won't be the case. But yeah, I would totally love to know if you guys have had any experience with Nana Make since. I haven't actually melted any of the stuff yet since I did this haul um, like three or four weeks ago. I don't even remember right now. Um, but I am looking forward to it to see how it performs. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any advice, have tried this brand before, and um, have had any experience, good or bad. So that wraps up this portion of the video. I have a bunch of hauls coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!